Advice for sensitive Toyota Tacoma owners. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I'm pretty good. Out cruising around in my uh, 2020 Toyota Tacoma today. And I got to thinking, you know, I hear from a lot of people on the channel. I get comments about all kinds of things. Uh, you name it, I get it. And it seems to me that there is uh, a group of very sensitive Toyota Tacoma owners out there. Now, what I'm referring to specifically has to do with mods, changes to the truck, things that they've done that they don't like, or questions about things that they're thinking about doing that I know they're not going to like. So I figured I'd get on here and give you guys, some of you guys, not everybody, uh, a little bit of advice when it comes to making certain changes to your Toyota Tacoma and what to expect. Because I know you're not going to like it. I might fall into that class a little bit myself, actually, for some of the early on mods that I did. You know, when I was first getting my feet wet, I guess, with the Toyota Tacoma. Now, what I'm talking about more specifically, I suppose, is, uh, is the suspension. You know, when you get the Toyota Tacoma from the from the car lot, most of us don't get it directly from the factory, right? Although I guess I did mine because I built it. But when you get it uh, directly from the car lot, you know, it comes set up pretty well. It's got some uh, all season tires on it. They're not too big, they're not too flashy, but they do the job. They look good. And all season tires, of course, are designed for, uh, I guess the average condition. You know, in other words, they have to be able to perform in rain, in dry pavement, snow, ice, kind of across the uh, the gamut of conditions that a normal driver might run into, right? And that's how most of us are with a Tacoma, I think. We are just normal drivers. You know, not everybody that buys a Toyota Tacoma is going to go out and rock climb in it or hit some heavy rutted trails or anything like that. It's going to be a daily driver, back and forth to work, to the grocery store, whatever. And that's the condition that you're going to experience it in. So, there's that other little thing, that little voice in the back of your head. You know, you're driving down the road, and you see these modified Tacomas, and they look really good because the Tacoma looks awesome when you lift it, put better wheels or bigger wheels and tires on it, and it looks awesome. So that little voice in the back of your head starts saying, what's wrong with you, man? Why aren't you doing that? So you do it. But in the end, it doesn't always turn out well, you know? And if you're sensitive to ride quality, comfort, sound, all those things that I hear about a lot on the channel, then you're probably making a mistake. Now, I'm telling you this stuff because I've experienced it myself for good and for bad. Some of it bothers me, some of it doesn't. So you have to be careful when you're gonna to listen to that voice in the back of your head that says, go mod that thing. Now, what I'm talking about, you know, when you put different wheels and tires on the truck, you're gonna change the ride quality of the truck, right? I mean, if you go with a more aggressive tire with deeper tread, a harder rubber material, it's not gonna be the same. It's gonna be different. The ride is gonna be harsher. Uh, I guarantee you of that. The sound is gonna increase. You can probably hear my truck now. I have a 285-70 R17, uh, more aggressive tire on the truck, right? It's not horrible, but it's certainly there. And if you are sensitive to that, then it's gonna grate on you after a while. And I've heard from several people who have done it. They've gone out, they've changed their setup, put new wheels and tires on, and they hate it. They can't stand the sound, and it drives them nuts. Same thing with exhausts. You know, I've heard from numerous people who have changed out their exhaust because they wanted something a little throatier, right? You know, in my opinion, something more Mustang GT sounding. But you're not gonna get that in the Toyota Tacoma. First of all, it's a V6. You're not gonna get V8 sound out of a V6 motor. It's not gonna happen. So you're gonna end up with a drone. Uh, I haven't had any exhaust, I don't think, except for the Toyota Tundra. That exhaust is awesome. The TRD exhaust on the Tundra is a match made in heaven. It's perfect. 
no drone, great throaty sound, great sound at startup. It's just awesome, right? But that's the only one. The exhaust that I've put on the Tacoma, and I've had, I guess, three, four, something like that, always give me a drone in the end if I get any more sound out of it um, over stock. You're always going to get a drone at freeway or at cruising speed. And if you're sensitive to that in your Tacoma, it's going to get on your nerves. It's going to drive you nuts. I experienced it with the MBRP exhaust. It's a great exhaust at startup. Gives you a nice throaty sound when you're on the gas and accelerating through the gears. Sounds great. But when you're on the freeway cruising along and you just kind of want to mellow, you know, for that 10 hour trip that you're on, you're going to hear it. Suspension. I've been through this with myself, right? I did the 3-2 lift along with the bigger wheels and tires, which we're going to get back to in just a minute. And it was rough. It was harsh. You know, going over bumps, going over railroad tracks. I had a bouncing problem. I mean, all kinds of things that I didn't want. You know, I wanted it to be as stock-like as possible. And I actually probably got about as far away from stock-like as you could get. Uh, the setup I have now, don't get me wrong, is good. I'm happy with it. I like it. It's a, it's an 18-inch wheel with the tires that I mentioned. It's a 3-2 uh, coil over shock suspension, ah, whatever you want to call it, lift. And I really like it. But don't get me wrong. It is not the same as what stock is. It does not feel the same as stock. And it is going to be a difference. And if you're sensitive to that or you're expecting to jump in the truck and have that nice look with uh, stock or factory reaction, it's not going to happen. It's going to be harder and you're going to feel it. And again, if you're sensitive to that, it's going to drive you nuts. Now, back to the tire setup. I had a question uh, just the other day. Uh, somebody asking me about going to 20 inch wheels on their truck. Now I had 20 inch wheels on my 2018 Tacoma and then for a very short period of time on this 2020. And I gotta say, when you go with 20 inch wheels, uh, you're going to reduce the tread wall or the tire wall, whatever you wanna call it on your tire. It's gonna shrink, right? Because you've got that bigger wheel in there. So you're gonna have less rubber between you and the road. And that means you're gonna feel more. You know, when you have that bigger tire wall, it absorbs all those little bumps and ruts and things like that that you go over on the road. So you're gonna feel more of it. I mean, it just makes sense, right? You're putting the metal of the wheel closer to the road and reducing the uh, absorption ability of the tire, if you will. So it's not going to be comfortable. And I told them, I said, you know, as far as me, and all this is personal preference, right? I mean, if you're not sensitive to these things, then it doesn't matter. But for me, I would not go above an 18 inch wheel. Um, I wouldn't do it because I want that tire wall width. I want to be able to absorb some of the bumps and things on the road with that. We're gonna go over a railroad track right now. Here we go. I mean, it hits, you feel it. It's not horrid, but it's not stock. So anyway, I just wanted to get on here, kind of talk about that a little bit because I get questions repeatedly on the channel about my setup. Uh, do I like it? How smooth is it? Is it rough? And uh, I just wanted to clear that up a little bit and that I don't care what anybody tells you. Um, I'm telling you the way it is and it is rougher. It is gonna be rougher. You're gonna lose that factory feel. Your truck's gonna look cool. No argument about that. It's gonna look awesome. But you gotta ask yourself the question, is the trade-off worth it? Is the uh, enhanced appearance that you're gonna get with that new setup worth giving up some of the comfort that you had from stock? Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, your experience. Um, if you've gone to a different setup with a truck, truck rather, wheels and tires and suspension and all that stuff, were you a bit disappointed once you were done? Did you even go as far as to change it again like I did, I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. 
Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay comfortable out there. Bye.